Today we're going to learn how to set up one of the Lab Pro Vernier uh, setups. First of all, you are going to need a uh, computer here, um, <clears throat> like so, and you're going to need a, a green box with its uh, cord to there, and you're going to need one of these connector cords, which I believe is a component cord, which is the normal USB here to this uh, kind of square looking one. Uh, so first things first, we've got to make sure this guy has power, so we're going to plug him in. And you know that it's got power if it gives you a nice little beep here after just a second here. And there it is, so it's got power. Now we're going to need to connect this green box here to the computer uh, over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, take this guy here, and you are looking for the square end of this. And the square end of this is going to go into the square, whoopsie, the square uh, box here. If it's not visible, it might be slid over like this uh, to look like him. And this guy here, it's even got the little USB symbol, and it's that kind of square shape. So all you do is put that guy right in there like so. Now, we are going to connect the USB to any one of the USB slots here on the computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in right over there like so, into any one of the USB slots that's there. Now it is connected. So now what we have is we have this general green device here that is usable for any one of a number of different uh, probes. Um, so for example, if you were to use a colorimeter probe, um, all you would do is you would take this guy here and you would plug him into any one of the channels that are over here on the right hand side of this thing, channel one, two, three, four. It really doesn't matter which one that you use. Just make sure that you uh, keep them um, separate and you know which one it is that you put it in. And um, um, I always just default to channel number one, but again, you don't have to. So now I have a colorimeter box that is hooked into channel number one. If I were to do a temperature probe or some other type of probe, again, it doesn't matter which channel it goes into, the computer will recognize it. You just need to keep track of which one it is. So now you've got a device hooked into a, a green box, which is then hooked into a computer with power. All right, now what we're gonna do is we are gonna set up the program. So on the desktop of these computers should be this guy here called Logger Pro. Open this guy up and it should bring it up to here, like so. And now what we need to do is we need to uh, connect the device itself. So we need to go to uh, File and Open whatever um, program it is that you are working with at this particular moment. Um, it's probably going to take you to one of these. And so what you're probably going to want to do is go to Chemistry with Vernier. That's probably where you're going to want to go. And we're, today we're going to do Beer's Law, so I'm going to open up the Beer's Law one, like so. All right, now it's going to ask you to connect. So here we are for sensor confirmation. Um, it says, I think it's a colorimeter, and you go, yeah, it's a colorimeter. So all you have to do is tell it, yep, connect that guy, please, like so. And now we are connected. All right, now what we're going to do is we are going to calibrate this device. So to calibrate this device, it's pretty easy, but there are a few particular things that you've got to do. So number one, go up to experiment. Number two, go down to calibrate, and then go ahead and calibrate the Lab Pro colorimeter. And it's going to give you this window here and it's going to ask you what you want to do. You want to calibrate now. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to come over here and we're going to open this guy up. And in order to calibrate it, you have to put in a blank cuvette filled with water. So what I've got here is I've got a blank cuvette that is filled with water. Once again, there are frosted sides and there are clear sides on this guy. If you take a look at this device, you can see that there is a left to right lines here and that's telling you where the laser is going. So you wanna make sure that the clear sides are in the path of the laser and the frosted sides are up and down. So if we take a look at this, 
Those are my clear sides. Those are going to go left to right, like so. The frosted sides, you'll notice, are up and down, and the clear sides are left and right. Now we're going to close this so no room light gets in. And now we have to tell it two different points. We have to tell it zero and we have to tell it 100. So the zero is quite simple. What you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to set it to zero. So all you have to do is you have to set this guy to zero. And now we come here and it says, hey, what value is that? Well, it's zero. So you type in zero and then click keep. And now through your experiment, you should have picked either green, red, or blue to use. Um, <clears throat> that is particular to the experiment that you are doing. So now what you're going to do is you're going to turn the knob to one of those things there. Please note that the voltage is currently set at about 0 0.73, 0 0.74 that's there, right? Watch what happens when I turn this to our particular color. We're going to use red this time. So I'm going to turn this to red. And now the voltage skyrocketed way, way up, all right? If you turn that knob and don't see any change in the voltage, you've got a broken colorimeter and nothing is uh, gonna work. You need to get rid of that and get a new one. So now that we are there, we have apparently 100% red light going through. And so all we have to do is tell the machine this is now 100. 100. And we're going to click keep, and when we do, our absorbance should now read zero. So we're going to click keep, and then we're going to click done. And our absorbance is now pretty darn close to zero, All right? So it is, you know, a few thousandths of an absorption, which is nothing. So it's basically zero there. So we have zeroed out this guy, and this guy is now calibrated.